Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. It's your boy Pepe Prawns here. Here today to show you a little Caddx product here. We've got the Caddx Tarsier. This is a 4K camera that is a stack camera. It is a 20 by 20. It is filming in 4.3 or 16 by 9 with a 1200 TVL regular FPV camera on it. Now, the interesting part of this guy versus other cameras we've seen before is we've got these two lenses here. The top lens is going to be for recording and the bottom lens is your FPV camera. So interesting that we don't have to look through like say the turtle where you got the extremely light FPV view although you were recording. We don't have that on this one. So we've got two buttons here one for changing modes and one for start and stopping video. However on this guy you can set it to auto start and pull the battery and it will not ruin your file. So that's cool. We like that versus uh, if you pull your battery it kills it. Now, now in order to get this into the BQE 3 inch as fuck, I needed to use 30 millimeter standoffs. Now I didn't want to, the problem is, is the cable's a bit short to run it in the back uh, and run the camera to the front. It's just about half an inch too short to do that and I didn't want to push my um, flight controller and ESE to the back so I just stacked it up with no uh, performance in my quad uh, issues there. Let's look at some flight footage with sound. Now on the left hand side there you will see your FPV view as recorded through my DVRs and it is a super nice FPV camera to fly through versus like I said, like the Caddx Turtle or the Runcam Split where it was so horrible. Uh, just total whiteout to try to fly that and record it in a decent uh, kind of quality, but not with this guy. As you can see, we're doing pretty good. We don't have much jello. There's a little bit of jello, but um, this being a little bit later of a video, if you haven't heard, you can run an ND filter on there and it'll help remove a lot of those issues with the bit of jello you're gonna get. Now, I am gonna try it later with some different props on it and probably remove the little bit of jello that I am getting. But it is a super nice camera, um, definitely a worth it. it. It's up there with, um, right now, to me, I still am liking the Firefly split, but that's a 30 and a half mount. And as far as 20 by 20s go, this is it. This is what you want right now. It is the best as far as FPV camera goes, as recording quality goes. This is raw, what you're seeing, this is raw footage. I have not edited it in color, contrast, or anything. So as you can see, we've got a lot to work with there. Um, the light changing sensor is pretty decent. We're not getting any massive changes in our in our camera sensor so that's pretty nice too some of these cameras have real issues with that and uh, this one didn't so I'm really really happy with that but overall this has been a really really nice cam and uh, I definitely think you should check it out links are as always below in the description or you can find them on the first comment that will be pinned on my video but I'll let you check out the rest of this footage make a decision for yourself feel free to comment in the comments below let me know what you think about it and uh and as always if you have any questions make sure you throw that in the comments and i will get back to you or you can write me at pepe prawns at the quadcopter review and i'll get back to you there too with any questions you might have about this product or anything else fpv related so appreciate you guys checking out the video and as always guys happy flying
Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.